like I said, first, thank you all for inviting me to speak. This project started two years ago. Two years ago, uh, this month, I put a bid in it and got it. And when Sheila pulls up the slideshow, you'll see what it looked like. If you're not from here and haven't been here before, now you'll remember it as the old Army surplus store. Okay. The old, <coughs> as they quoted in the paper in January that year, it was an ISIL. They wanted to tore down. And people recommended they tear down a bit. You know, and most of it, it's pretty odd. It is an eyesore. was an eyesore. You turn around the corner. When it's the Army surplus store here, it had the nice little guns sit up on the, on the outside, but then it got torn down. And when I made the offer of it, I walked in and let's see if it works. Let's see let's change the slides. It's the first thing I saw walking in. Carpet on the floor, a drop ceiling, paneling on the walls. And the next slide. I know we're going to get there. Yeah, it's not going to look like right, a mouse. So. mouse. This is thing. where you're sitting at right now. Okay. The original tin is from when it was the bank. They had the bank here. The original tin on the ceilings. That's still there. But everything else, carpet on the floors. Time we renovated, you know, and came across it. it there was five layers between the carpet down to this floor. Okay. There were three layers on the walls. And it's some of it's homemade sheetrock, some of it's regular sheetrock. It had the, if you'll notice, and I will say this, when you get home and you view it, Michelle's going to put it up on the website. You can see the colors of it. It has the dollar store yellow. <laughs> okay, if you remember dollar store yellow from the late 70s, early 80s, yeah. yellow is every place. And yellow is hard to cover up. And you still cover it up. You still see spots of yellow. And I know where they're at in this room right now. But <clears throat> just slowly, but I'm going to take you through the years of what was in the building today and what was Mount City like during that time period. Okay. So let's take a moment and go through it. I'm a math teacher by heart, not a history teacher. So I'm a little quick to the point and I'm, I move on. Some of you are going to see yourselves in this picture, in these pictures today. Some of you are going to remember what it looked like. Okay, some of you are going to have better recollection of the building. Other than what you've seen right here, the next slides that come up, I did not take. Since I started the journey two years ago, these pictures that you're going to see have walked into my building. People have showed me the pictures. Hey, I got this picture, and I take a picture of it. So it's all pictures of pictures, okay, where somebody wants to share, hey, this is what I've got. Hey, you want to use this. I can list the number of people who have donated me pictures to here. The stories I've heard in two years, I did not know this history about Mel City. I'd heard about it. And I was the little kid that went around town, sold a Britain newspaper when I was 10, 11, 12, and 13 on the bicycle every Saturday. It would see the evolving of it as it goes through history. I'm assuming. This building was built, this section right here was built to 1854 by my Thagnus Wagner. His daddy was the perp the gentleman who wrote the land grant for Mamie and get it from King George, okay? So that's the connection there. The other side of the building was built in 1878 by Matthias's two sons, Noah. Noah's one of them, and I've got the other one. They built the other side in 1878. At the same time, they built the, uh, the Rambo house, okay? I've gone out, out Mount City, going down the other on the left, which most of you know is Prospect Hill. <coughs> All right. Oh, before I go on, you got to remember this building was built when it was Taylorsville, Tennessee, not Mount City. So 1878, this side was built. It, this is on lot number one in Taylorsville. That's on lot number two and so forth. There were 40 lots, original lots in Mount C of Taylorsville before it converted to Mount City in 1886. This was the Main Street, going up Church Street was Main Street, Mount City. Okay, that's why you're gonna see a lot of pictures of this street. And Mr. Morris mentioned to me earlier about the DVD of Mount City. If you haven't watched it, there is a lot of footage from this street right over here. That's where the traffic was. And you're gonna see a lot of pictures in here. Let's go back to when there were dirt roads in Mount City. This is my building on the left. Second, where you're sitting is right here. Next building, the lot was vacant then, as it is now. Okay. 
and then it goes up the street. You got to realize a lot of trees on the streets, and you're going to see more of this in a minute. All right, dirt, dirt tracks. That picture's over here on the wall of going down this street as well. You'll notice here that the Muse Hardware, as everybody knows the Muse Hardware, back in the early 1900s, was actually London Stockwell. He owned the hardware store. And then Chuck Muse's daddy came in and bought the hardware store and converted it. You can see the changing of the signs in my picture. It'll go from it sticking out over the street to on the side of the building. Okay, notice there was no store right here where teammates is. And then the next little antique store where John owns, okay? That was Farmer State Bank, not at the time. That was when it was a feed store, okay? Next. This is looking, sorry about the glare again, the pixelation loses it, but this is looking down from May, down Main Street, about, uh, about where Johnson County Bank is, looking back down the street. This is the Mount City Hotel. Okay, then you go on down the street and we'll go into more detail. That is Houston's Hardware at the end of the street. A lot of houses were on that side of the road at the time. Okay. That's the first, that's the courthouse in 1907. Significance of the bell tower or the tower right here, Cupola. You'll see that in another picture in a minute. That's 1907. Okay. And it's where it stands. And when they developed the lots here, Taylorsville, they left the entire city block just for the courthouse where it sits right now. That was the entire city block for sure. He cut it out of the plat, the courthouse. First Baptist Church sitting on the corner. They started out at Rome Street when we moved up here to town. That, that comes into play in a minute as well. Now, <clears throat> 1914, this picture was taken. Or where you're sitting right now was a bank, Merchant Traders Bank. Then Wright's department store was on this side. Merchant Trader Bank in 1916 merged with Bank of Mount City across the street to become Farmer State Bank. Okay, 1916. And truthfully known, when I went to rebuild the front of the building, I did not see this picture. I had never seen this picture. I just had a vision in my head what I wanted the front of the building to look like. Behind the metal, we'll show some of the pictures quite the way it looked like later on. But I had no idea it looked like. I missed one detail. It should have been double doors right here instead of single. I did not realize that. But after I got the front put up, someone walked in the building that day and had me a picture and said, hey, here's what these look like in 1914. <laughs> I went, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you were here around, two years ago when you were here when I was tearing it up. And bring it back to life, it was like, okay, what am I going to do? I had found some people to help me. I said, this is what I want to make it look like. They said, really? Where's your blueprint? I said, in my head. And I took pictures of how the corners I wanted to look up the outside and how the window seats needed to be. I just took the pictures and said, this is what I want it to look like. Let's make it happen. And they said, really? I said, yeah, let's make it happen. And we slowly did. And you, you all seen the progress of it in the last two years. May 6th is when I took ownership of it. That was the first day. And no one had seen the windows on top since the 40s. Ladies and gentlemen, those windows you see with the, the sticker louvers on it, with the Coke sign and prescriptions and everything, they were covered up. And no one had seen them until the 40s. I'll show you a picture of why I knew it was in the 40s in just a moment. Uh, Again, I bring it up to errors, went from the horse and buggy. Now we have the T models on the street. Okay, and that's Muse's hardware. Now it changed to Muse's hardware. Got rid of the London Stoppel sign, put a little plaque on the side that says Muse Hardware. Okay, International Harvester. No, nope, sorry. Yeah, it's International Harvester moved in here in the Ford place, moved in right here. And they filled in the street. You're going to see some more of those in a minute. Okay. And of course, that's my building here, and the bank is right here, and the wire's running in. I don't know when the first time they put the phone office in upstairs, but we'll get to that. Okay. Now I have a picture of Buster Brown. Buster Brown did come to Mount City. Okay. Why? That's my great grandpa, Nindaby Drive. Okay. At the next slide. 
Next slide. This was 1926. That picture's on the wall right there. These are just kids in Mount City. At the time, they collected together and took a picture with the driver, Buster Brown. This is sitting in First Baptist Church parking lot. There's the old Ray House, where is the uh, Exxon or Shell service station at right, right now. And there's the road going up 421 towards Shady. Okay. So that's 1926. And there's a couple of people, <coughs> there's a couple uh, people that have this picture out that have some of the names of the people in the back of it. If you do, please share. So I can write it down with a little index card on the bottom of my picture so everybody will know who everybody is. Okay. Ah, there's a bunch of glorious trees. That's the correct type of trees on Main Street. Okay. As I say in this, it's way back. It goes down in over the little home is music hardware. That's real good sized trees. Okay. Next. This is the side of my building again. I went down up to the A models, left the T models on up to A models. Mentioned earlier, there was a barber shop here in the face with you. People hanging out on the rails here. Notice that Music Hardware is still two floors. Hasn't kind of burned the three floors yet. Okay. <coughs> the bank, that's what most people remember in the 70s, what the bank looked like with their columns, you know. Big old columns up the front. Only thing they did now is they moved it out. They they left, took out the columns and moved it out about eight feet and built it out. Okay. Next, prosperous little town, as you can tell. This must be in the winter months. Leaves are off the tree. But look, it's still the number of houses down the street. Okay. Notice this house here. There's not a building there yet. That's on the other side of Smithies. That's that driveway, that alley. They go, they, that house is gone. And now, in that picture as well, now Muses Hardware is three stories. They've added on. And the characteristic about Muses Hardware is they're the first elevator in Johnson County. And it still works. Okay. Anybody remember this picture? That's the Mount City Inn. I know where it's located. Right across the street from? No, one down. Right across the street from the Grayson Hotel, which is actually where Ace Realty is right there. Okay. Next. Now we brought us up into 30s and 40s. So I had to show you updated pictures. Look how we've changed a little bit. We've added drugstore. We've added a essential drug. <clears throat> What's popular about all the drugstores here in town is when the high schools were built. The high school is where it's sitting there, where the old high school and senior center is. The senior center is now. They uh, they didn't have a cafeteria in the bottom, so they walked to town to eat. So you had a drugstore over central drug over here. You could eat here. You could eat across the street at. Uh, Courtesy drug, you can eat up at Adam's Grocery, you can eat at uh, Arnie's Grill, and they're coming to play in a minute when I mention these places. Okay, but significance of here, Blackbirds, Blackbirds Road Grocery Store. You know, that's big back then. They had a basement over there and the, uh, and upstairs, the dry goods were upstairs. Miss Michael started her store, Mr. and Mr. Mrs. Michael started theirs. Store there before they moved here on Main Street. Mr. Wolf started his in the basement of the store before he moved over here to this building. All right, let me see. I bring it that much from color to black and white because this is the closest one I had. I just want to show you. We had a shoe shop across the street. We had a piano store right beside it. Okay. We had the Central Drug, the other stores. So, hey, we had a lot going on in the 30s and 40s of the Mount City. All right. This one, I'm still trying to figure out where the location is. If you see some of these, and I might have the location wrong, this is what I've been told, okay, by everybody. And I've tried to piece it together. This one, I'm questioning if it was where the piano store was. But I'll, I'm get, I'll get back to you on that. All right, next one. Little Ragged Joe. And I think his slogan was, if you want, if you want your town to grow, Trade with Little Ragged Joe. That was Joe Black that owned the Black grocery store. 
Now, most people from here, that's where you trade in your ASMH green stamps. You got to go upstairs and get your process. You know, what your room for collecting on the stamps. Little Ragged Joe, he had it going ahead and figured out what to do in this tab. Okay, next. That's inside of the store. That walked in here the other day. I had to put it in here, this picture. You know, just think about it. That was the days just right on the corner, walking in. There was a front entrance on the corner and a back entrance where the parking lot was. Okay. <clears throat> Most people come in here and say, hey, where was the taxi place at? Where's the taxi service? It was behind us. Between my building and now the barbershop and the next slideshow and the next place was the bus station. That's the barbershop right there. And I bring the bus station up because the bigger building right next to it with the nice windows, glass windows here next to it was the telephone office. When they moved out of here, they moved down there to that telephone office. Okay. Mr. Morris, you can correct me at any time. You probably know a little bit more about this than I do. All right. Now we put this in 1946. Western Auto has moved across the street here. We've got... Uh, Rexall Drugstore in here now. Now they're split. I can show you the bar stools on that side of the fountain lots because I'm going to show you where the bar stools in here are just a minute. Okay. Look, we've got Ramsey's Drugstore, or Five and Nine, excuse me, Smithy's. The house is still sitting there and the next two on up. Very prosperous town. All right. That's the back of my store. Not much has changed. Going up through there, it's still the same concepts. Uh, all right, we can go to the next one. Now, I talked about the telephone office upstairs. We have two of these telephone operators in this picture still alive. One lives in Mount City, Johnson County, and one lives in Elizabeth. They've both been in here to tell me what, what they used to do and what their job for, and I've taken them upstairs. That's one is Miss Lucille Brown. She's in the back back here. Okay. Next, that was the picture they had, that was picture day. On picture day, they got them all to come in and take pictures of them. And you know, on the clear photos are around on the wall here, you will notice that you look out the window and see Blackburn School, street level. And Lucille Brown will tell you the story. She sat up there and talked to the, beside the uh, Blackburn's was a little call box in the police department. And she could see if he was there or not when they called for the police. She talks about that story. And now, okay, yeah, you can go to the next one. This one I just put here because I love the Christmas lights. They're, they're hanging at the wreaths across the street, you know, put the old tiny lights up. <coughs> now we've gone, there's Smithies, but there's nothing there again. And that's the current store. Now we've got different houses because the hotel's gone. Now I put that. Anybody want to guess what year that is? 60s, late 50s, early 60s. I'm looking at the, Truck. I was looking at the truck. Are those parking meters? Yes, there are parking meters in town. We had parking meters for a long time, up until I would say what 80s. Parking meters here in the 80s, and they took them up. I, I would. I'd ask to show of hands if uh, you have one at your house. <laughs> and we, hey, and I, I would, Hey, mine's at the house, but it's sitting in the parking space, and so you have to pay to park. <laughs> so, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I have to. All right. And then, we had a meter maid that walked up and down the street. I forgot about her. Miss Bay Shown. Everybody remember Miss Bay. Now, now, some of you newcomers here, you won't recognize the building. Either one. Heritage Hall is the first one. Now, the old timers will tell you the back one is the elementary school. The back one is the elementary school. Now, this is Heritage Hall before they put the wings on Heritage Hall. Okay, they've added a wing on both sides and had the circle gravel circled around. So, next slide. I had to put the elementary school here for significant reasons. You look at the location of where it's located, uh, where the uh, youth center is back there, even with the where the swimming pool is attached to. This is the back of the gym. You come up about three windows or four windows of Masonic Lodges would be sitting right in here. It'd be right in here, blocking it. So I don't know what year they took that. 
Anybody have an idea what year they uh, he was 58, 59. I'm right, right. 63. We're in the mid 60s. Okay. Now, brings me to the next slide. Now we're on top of the hill behind Butler Mansion, looking back at Mount City. Okay. Now, I always heard my dad talk about the ball fields where they played ball right here. That was their football field. This is where the high school football field played. That's the elementary school. That's the community center. Tennis courts or pickleball courts are right in here. The pool would be right behind this. Okay. My building is actually right there. The funeral home in town was here at WD Hills Funeral Home. Okay. Courthouse would be right here. Taylor's Theater is right here. The hotel, our house was right there in the middle of it. Fixation, as I said, when you blow, when I blew it up, I lost a lot of this. It lost a lot of features. But if you go online and post it, you can see better quality of pictures. Okay. <coughs> There's the high school with built on wing. Yeah, that's when they built on the wing of the high school. I had to tie that in to show you how they added expanded on both sides. All right, there's Mr. Hill's funeral home. And you can see the back of the ball field right here going up to it. Was that the only funeral home in town? Or was it enough? That's the only funeral home in town? Right, then they moved. All right, next. Ah, oh, I've been on top of this one. Love it. King D. You don't ever know about King D. He's on a Friday, Saturday night cruising in this town. He went up the street, turn left, right on the other side of Farmer State Banks. Drive through, went up. King B was in the parking lot of where the art center is. Parking lot, art center is right beside it. That's the King B. And you talk about the, they'll tell you the story about King B. That was, I didn't say it earlier, but that's another place to eat during lunch. Okay, it was a King B. They love it. Then I had to bring in the Bean Festival. You know, I've got some, I've just got three or four pictures of the Bean Fest. And you got to realize, told you, the courthouse is still standing. That, that courthouse is still standing, that cupola there. I noticed one thing. This is the Grayson Hotel. This sign is going to come into play in a minute, which is hanging out over the street, by the way. Okay. There's a house here. What's missing? You might want to tell me what's missing. That's not in this picture. That was in the other picture. Or we haven't seen yet. Anybody? That's on this street from here, from the uh, Grayson Hotel up. It's on service station. Was it here yet? That's where the house. Is. That's, That's where the house is. is. Yes. It's Thomas J. Berry House. Yep. All right. Next. Take a pretty prosperous little town at the Bean Festival. And if you haven't heard about the Bean Festival, they had it at the fairgrounds, which is now the current high school where the football field is. That's where the fairground was. Okay. And that is a whole other presentation for somebody else. Yeah. All right. They have a great, good display of, of what's going on. And that just fascinates me of the, just how populous this town was and how active it was. All right. Next. This is the only shot I have of North Church Street, you know, from this red light looking back. Anybody has any of the pictures of what's up to there? Because I'm taking it, there's a couple in this room might have been born in one of these buildings. <laughs> I'm just taking it. And there's some of them might have had some, on the previous picture, somebody might have been operated on. Can we go back one? No, one more. In this house, somebody else could have been, had their teeth fixed in this house. Okay, is that not Dr. Yelton? Yeah. You know, before that, Dr. Yelton was upstairs in my building. He was upstairs, then he moved over there. Now, I'll give you a little history about my building, too. They supposedly, it was brought on that side at the turn of the century. Now, that's what I've been told some people that are in their 90s. And that would explain why there's eight rooms and no electrical outlets, only lights. So, but that, okay, we'll go back forward. <laughs> now, like I said, in the top of Blackburn's, but if anybody has any pictures, I've asked, I talked to Mr. Morris and Ms. Pat here, and we talked about it earlier. If anybody has pictures, you know anybody that has pictures of the town, 
This is what I just walked, that has walked into my store in two years. That shows me. People say, hey, Tim, I've got this. Oh, God, let me take a picture of it. Okay. They like it to compile. And Sheila said she'd get them to compile albums. Talk to Mr. Morris. I like to do it in the 20s, what it looked like in the 20s, in the 30s, 40s, and the 50s. Have those pictures so you can see because you'll notice I've only concentrated right here locally. But if I said, hey, it pertains to your building, so let me show you what, what your building, where it's located at. All right, next picture. Now, anybody watch the movie in the Strand? Yes. The Strand Movie Theater was right there where the eye doctor's office is. It was before Courtesy Drug Store. Okay. No, not Courtesy. Yeah, right. yeah, Courtesy, Courtesy Drug right. Store. It was before Courtesy. Notice, I like the lot. I like the round windows. They should have saved it for the glass, eyeglass shop. You know, that would have been a perfect <laughs> I'm just saying, would it not? That would be perfect. I, I looked out the day I got that picture. I'm like, oh, they're, they're square now. But somebody redone it. And the gentleman over there that bought it said that the film room still set up upstairs. They just remodeled some, but it's just still set up. And he, he kind of curious. I said, let me show you what it was. But again, I heard, but they said, um, they told me the story. My dad was the one that fed the furnace to keep it warm. He could watch the movies free. All right, let's go to the next one. Now, we're getting into your era where you came down from high school. This is in the 60s. When you think about it, it's thriving little town in the 60s. You got, you got the drugstore here. Now, they branched out. See how they've taken the white section and put Rexall here in front? And they've made it even over here. There's another photo I'll show you in a minute. It's even solid white. That's when they expanded to this side. They moved the six found stools to the 14 found stools here. And if you were city in this row right here, there's 14 holes right up through here. And you can see it. And that's why over there, four a week, because they had so much stuff and so much water spilled on that one, I had to redo that for them. Okay, next. Just some gentlemen sitting on the front porch of my building, of my doors. All right. <coughs> Prosperous little town. There we go. That's the color, one of the few colored pictures I have. Okay. Ramsey's was thriving. Rex all the drugstore. See how it's solid white here. Now it brings me to the bank. I told you it was 40 lots. Each lot is 30 feet wide. Okay. There's 30 feet here. Next one's 30 feet. The bank is the same way, 30 feet. They've added on, which what used to be the okay. First little building up here was the okay beauty salon. Then it was the shoe store next to it. The barber, then Forrest Barber Shop and Beauty Shop used to be a, uh, what was upstairs, the kitchen? She served food. Oh, Aunt Molly. Aunt Molly. Aunt Molly. Yes, she had, she had her food upstairs. And then here's Courtesy Drug Store. Okay, so that building has been locked. Okay, it's changed over the years and they're connected. So the bank bought here and moved over. And they moved OK Beauty Shop over to this shop, put them in the back and put the barbershop up front. OK, next. Now, there's one of these women sitting in here. Picture's not too clear on my screen, but the picture over here, and this is the young lady right here. Used to work in here. She's sitting in here. There she is, right there. Right side of the stage. That's her. How much? How many years? 50. <laughs> 50 years ago. Say, listen, that's how time has changed. I'm assuming I'm looking at the picture. And that's why I said earlier, those windows up on the top and that I hadn't been seen for 40 years because you see the little white section above the door. It's painted white. It's still painted white. And then above it where the shade, the green shades are over there, it's covered up with that drop ceiling. And that's behind that. It's covered up with that white wall in the front I showed you a minute ago. Go back one screen if I can. See where the white section is right here underneath the orange one? They covered those up. They did put new banners underneath, which would be underneath my tuba eight right there. They put the new banners right there. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yes. 60 years, not 50. Gonna, I, that's all right. I'm not going to talk about your age. I, uh, you do not talk about a woman's age. That's not us. 
Okay. Now, I love it that she could sell cigars right under the counter and they weren't locked up. If you look on the picture, there are cigars and over here's the mounds and almond joints. Okay. Really? Really? I know. And, and I was like 16. I still had them. Yes, ma'am. All right. Next slide. Now, there's three more of them. That was back over here where it was the drugstore where they did the prescriptions. And I know their names and I apologize for that. Huh? Parley Bear. Parley Gentry. Parley Gentry right here, Mary Lewis Gentry. Yep. And Dora Eggers. Dora Eggers. <coughs> so, hey, we've got a lot of history and people yeah. just don't forget about it. We just assumed it was there. We didn't know how it got here. And the newcomers said, okay, what's he talking about? These all these people walk in here and tell me these stories every day. And I hear them, and I, I try to write them down, they don't remember where I write it at. Okay. <laughs> Next, I'm not too good for that. All right. Now, this picture walked in the other day. On a Saturday, this lady's son right here walked in and said, Hey, I talked and showed his mom FaceTime. She's up in Pennsylvania. So hold on, I'll send you a picture. That's Garnetta Vault or Garnetta Smith. Okay. Now that's where these stools are. This little pot coming down the wall is right there. And that little seam right up in the seam coming down. And these stools are right here. This is the bar area, the fountain area for it. That little pass through to get their food from the kitchen is right underneath the ladder. It's still there. Okay. Not much has changed. It used to be a pharmacy where they'd hide their drugs underneath the basement, too. <laughs> uh, in the escape hatch. Yep. Garnett is following. Right. Yeah. All right. See, now there, there's Blackbirds again. I'll bring that up. So that's where the old OK Beauty Shop was. Farmer State Bank has built out, got rid of the big gold columns, and they built it out like it looks today. OK, next. I had to show the OK Beauty Shop. Now, the significance about this one, if you get a clear picture, it says no left-hand turns on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> now, I had never seen it any place else that says no left-hand turn on Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> Too much traffic. How long would it take to cruise on a Saturday night from right here to get back to right here, all the way around the block? Anybody? <laughs> 30 minutes, 45 minutes, but just to cruise, just to walk. You were yelling and screaming, and everybody's waiting for a parking space to get open for somebody else to leave, somebody else to back in. And they used to back in their cars on Saturday nights. All right. Now, we look at me and my mom was looking at this last night. I forgot about purchases. Yeah, yeah. You know, purchase furniture for Connects to go. Yeah. I don't know what was beside them. I have no idea. I forgot about that. Now, this is Western Auto. And then Molly Watts Cafe. Yeah. Right. Shams Cafe. And then, uh, then the rest of we've seen that section of the street. But hey, it just, it's just neat to go back and start talking to people and saying, okay, remember what it was and what the buildings, when you go out and look at it now, now you're going to view it different. You're going to start viewing every building as 30 feet, what there was 30 feet. Every section is 30 feet. Do you have anything in there? No, I have nothing. If I have pictures, please bring them. I will share. All right, next. City Shoe Store. I mean, come on. That's all I remember. I remember the we I showed you one across the street. That was for Grady and John to go. Okay, and that was Grady and John's building. Okay, that takes here. There's your parking meter again. They're still here. Next slide. Courtesy Girl. That's where the eye doctor's office is. What's unique about that picture? Carl Wilson ran that. What are, what's unique about that picture? See anything in there that looks familiar? Weight scale. Where's it at right now? Right here. Right there. That weight scale is right there. Right beside the pension machine. Those are weight and horoscope. Yep, weight and horoscope. It's right there, identical. <laughs> All right, next. Salmon's Grocery. Anybody know where that's located? Yep. Up the street. Where up the street? Next to 
It is actually where Smith and Cockett had their law office, and they boxed in the bricked in the windows, and you can still see the outlay of the windows where it was. All right. Next. Hmm. They're redoing that building right now. Yeah. Assey Ferguson right down the street. Yeah. Okay. Next. Remember this young lady? Trading Post, Miss Rourke. Join the Trading Post, Miss Rourke. Don't have a picture of the outside of the Trading Post, but I sure do have one of Miss Rourke. Okay. It's still standing. Yes. Next. Johnson County Motors. I might have these two out of sequence, but that's okay. I'm close. Okay. That's Grind Staffs. If Grind Staff was out here and then he moved down there, correct? And now, if you don't know where this is located, Danny Herman Trucking, Hardy's parking lot. That's the building. That's the building. See, we were thriving back in the 50s and 60s. We had the four dealerships. We had Chrysler dealerships, Chevrolet dealerships. All right. Now, Mr. Morris, I have a question for you. I cannot locate where this SL was. Is that up here, yeah. Grandpa's? Yes. Because I couldn't. Okay, because I could not find. We could not figure it out because the hotel wasn't sitting there. Or they might have reversed. They couldn't reverse it. It, it may be reversed, but that's where it was. Okay. Because we were trying to determine if it was there or if it was out here. The SO was out here beside the doctor's office. I had another one of the snow, all snow packed up again, but I didn't put it on here because it quieted it out with these lights. All right, next. Hmm. You might know what this one is. I have a picture of it over there above the jukebox. Train Depot. Where? State. On Depot Street, beside Tri-State. On Depot. It, now, it, here's what the deal is. You've got to sit back and if you can see it, like without the light, this, you're back here against the creek, <laughs> looking back because that's the arch of Doe Mountain right there. Going down through there. Okay, next slide is the reverse of it. That's, the, that's looking from the street back at it. This, at this angle back toward East Mountain City. Okay. Next. What was the ground bro? I don't know, Mr. Gerald. You're a railroad expert. I have no idea. Huh? I'm not sure. Oh, you're not sure? Anybody know the name of the railroad? Southern Pacific. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, it came up, no, uh, Valley. It did. Okay. So it's not a machine. All right. Now we have to go with the board. Amy, I found 167. 167 came up 167. Now, this interesting picture walked in here one day, and I took a picture of it and got a glare on it. Anybody know? Well, make, unless I told you, you can't answer. Now, some of them, I told you where the location of this one is. There's the bean fields. Where? No, no. I love this one. Because if you look back and stay back about Rose Creek Church, looking back over Parkdale, and the Shounds Road goes down through there, and that would be where uh, the nursing home would be uh, back in that area, the glove factory back in that area. All right. Next. That one's down Neva. That's, yeah. that's down Neva. That's bottom. All right. Next. And not a, oh, that's them picking it up and gathering up the beans, just the locals. And if Keith Wilson were here, I'd ask him he could name everybody in that picture. <laughs> he already has about twice. <laughs> and next, and there you go, Miss Pat. Where is this one located? Right. So just ask the big market. Over here, 
Uh -huh. but, I'm so, yeah. All right. That's where we got that. One. See, I had to ask. I knew I had to ask questions. Then. Next. Now we bring us back. I put this one up here for significance value. I remember it. There's a little sign that says no left hand turn. <laughs> How many remember the gas? Yeah, yeah. Right there's a spacious there. And you can pull right up to it and pump the gas right here. And the cap is still there. Yeah. Like just move the pump, put a cap. That's going about our business. But look, the international harvester. I'm sorry that Dickie Walsh is not here. We can talk about the Walsh. Because they came in, they've been in a few of the pictures when they got yeah, converted right. over. Yeah, there was a restaurant down there. Yeah. Here. Down there. All right. It's free, but oh, did she? I did not know she ran a restaurant. We were cafe. Okay. Good information. Next. There goes back here. A nice little populous town. Pretty much the same pictures a while ago. Next. Now I take you back up the other end of town. I said um, I was going to talk talk about the Grayson sign. Unique about that. It says a bath in each room. <laughs> okay, and if you were to go there now, you can actually walk in it, walk back into town. Banisters are still there on the left hand side of the Grayson Hotel. The rooms are furnished. They're still there. The restaurant's still there, just like they walked out. So it's something to think about. Really? Taylor's? How many's been to Taylor's Theater? I can raise my hand on that one. Little elementary school, they walk Mount City Elementary up to Taylor's yeah. movie yeah. theater. Now, if you want to know the relationship to Taylor's theater, that's where Johns Kane Bank City. That's the parking lot. Arnie's Cafe is the parking lot right beside up to where the law office is right now. That's where they took it up from. Now, Salmon's Grocery was here. Adam's store was right here. And now I didn't get the picture Miss Pat showed me the other day. I lost it in transition electronic emails. She showed me a picture when it used to be the Tomahawk office was at the top of that building. Right, uh, right here on the street. Okay. And then the Adam's Grocery, I think, next. Let's see if I got a picture of it. Blew it back up so you can see. And I did not realize there was an alleyway through there. That's the alleyway down the street. No, that's... The Adam's is probably used to be right on the other side there. Okay, I know where it's at now. Right, that's law says right there. Now, yes. All right, next. There's Mr. Adams and his grocery store. I looked at the high ceilings and I looked at the cabinets on it. Pretty narrow, but still. All right, next. You might tell me what that is. Mr. Morris, you're out. It's Calaboose. Calaboose and? Calaboose is on the right. <coughs> Library, you are correct. Library is here. Now, that was the civil defense office. That's where you drive through the civil, where the civil defense office is right now to go pay your water bill, water bill right now. The blue building is sitting where the Calaboose is. Okay. That's true. Yeah. No, that's right here behind us on Donald's. Right here behind us. Hey, go back. Now, the question is, where's the church? Where did, where did this library go? That's like little library. Is that the church down here across from Tri-State? I don't know where it to, but it was down there for a long time. Right. I know where the Calaboose is. I know where that's at. Yeah, little library. The one I was in the first city. It was above the police station. Okay. The little house. That one. Yes, ma'am. This is that street. And uh, remember, Junior. Uh, who's Junior? Not Junior. Uh, Danny Stouts. That was Danny Stouts Furniture Store back here. That's Hitchcock Memorials right there. Their building. All right. I'm getting close to the end, by the way. Next. Go back, just to bring back what it is. Why did I do it? We're, we're talking about here what's going on in the little metropolis here, how we can rebuild it. Next. 
bring back the color photo of Mountain City and how it's they bricked everything up. Blackburn's was ahead of its time when it filmed. It was ahead of its time. They next. My building. Why did I get it? I needed a retirement project. <laughs> you know. Where? Where? What? Which one? I've, I've got I've got the history completely from back from uh, the Wagners all the way up to me. All right, next. Now I bring that back because when we took the first day, I think I shocked everybody to get the tree company to remove the metal off the front of the building. When I took the metal off the front, it shocked me too, and I was not here. I was in I was in Southport at the time, and they took me pictures and said, "Hey, this is what your building looks like with no metal on it." I went, "Okay." Can you zoom in a little bit? And they said, okay, next picture. They zoomed in, all right. There was no brick. Okay, no brick on this side. There was that white plaster with chicken wire. It was thick. It was real thick. And it covered these windows up forever. Notice the big plate glass right here. It's the door. They had covered all these up. Here, this was covered up where they painted it over the years. <coughs> I love this picture and the next one. Some gentleman came to me uh, last summer before I opened up and said, uh, you've got a flaw in your brick pattern. <laughs> I said, okay, where? He said, I hate to tell you, but let's walk across the street. He walked me across the street, turned me back and said, right here, there's a crack up here. I said, let's come in here and look at my 1914 picture. The same crack. <laughs> We're good, 109 years, 108 years, we're good. It's not following that. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever, if I've never seen a building built this dirty. It is built 16 inch walls. The brick are like six layers this way. The seventh layer is turned diagonally. They're butted against each other. Six layers running along four right wide. Then they turn this one sideways and tied it together. Up top, the craftsmanship up on the third floor is unbelievable. They mortar and tin them together where they hewed out the beams, a square beam, then put a, a square notch, and slid it in, and taped it in place. Upstairs, there are turnbuckles upstairs, pulling it down, where the little stars you'll see on the outside of any of the buildings, and this one especially, and then on the inside, you'll notice that I'm not a Dallas Cowboy fan. Some lady goes, oh, congratulations, Dallas. I said, man, how did it put that star? It's pulling it this way, and they're pulling it down. You know, I look in here, and I say, when did they convert it? They quit using square nuts on steel beams in the 20s and 30s. Okay, and those are square nuts. I already talked about the 10 ceilings in here. Okay, I went back. Somebody, so you're... The, uh, when I was going to remodel it, the building inspector came in and said, I need to inspect what you built. And I said, I'm not doing any building. He said, yeah, yeah. I said, no, I'm just tearing down. And if it's rotted, I put it back. So I'm no, doing no new construction. He came back three months later and said, well, okay, what have you built? I said, I built the stage. <laughs> I built a wall to cover up the section because it had those nice little eye beams in between. And I had to cover it, make it look nice. That's it. I stole the concept of the wall with the windows from the second floor. Got to realize back in the day, they didn't have electrical, a lot of electrical lights. But on the second floor, they had, there's a wall right above us going about right here all the way down. And right at the ceiling, two feet from the ceiling, there's a row of windows all the way down. That's so the transient light from the outside would come through for the hallway to go all the way down. They didn't have to put a lot, they have to put lights down the hall. Okay. You talk to Lucille Brown and you talk about they use the side steps. There's a side door right here. What was in this building once the telephone office left upstairs? Anybody? They had a studio. Had a studio that took pictures up there. Uh no, not one day. It's somebody else. Okay, they had that there. Uh, it's been used as a clothing store up on the other side. Most older gentlemen and one lady remember the other side is a smoke shop. Yes, 
you go down the sidewalk, go down two steps, turn the corner, and go down a flight of steps. Now, love them to death. And I'll tell you right now, love them to death. When they decide not to use the basement, they put a piece of plywood up, backfilled it, didn't put anything else. Let just shut the door on this side. There's a problem. I opened it up to fix the floor where you're all sitting, Mr. Morris, up in that area. Fix the floor. And that side of the sidewalk is caved in into my building. I asked the city, you need to tear up the sidewalk because I could look underneath your sidewalk on both sides, 20 feet on both sides, and there's this much missing. You have to tear it up. We have to back it. No, you fix the block first, and then we'll back it. Okay, uh, that's a little difference, okay? But again, they just put a piece of wood up, and the door and the window lights, side lights were still there. And if you were going down the street now, I had it stucco. I had to have it stucco because there were so many leaks on this side and the back of the building leak. It was amazing. That's why you see stucco, but it wasn't a good thing. Brick, a handmade on site, because I sent a brick off to Clemson University and they analyzed the brick and the mortar. The mortar was made with limestone sand mix, which is a salt mix. Anything that's a hot mix adheres to it will pull it apart. It will pull the face off the brick. Worst thing they ever did was paint that side of the building because it's pulling out the face off of a brick and it's pulling out the joints. I'd have to go in with a soft mix and put them back in for it to stay. Now, I had to fix a certain level all the way down to keep it from leaking. Okay, now since I've done that, I've learned a lot more. The back of the building is a little different story. It's been patched, snug enough, extra doors put back in there. Kind of amazing. Uh, What's the next slide? There we are today. I really want to, I told Scotty before he left, I said, I'm going to thank you for this. He gave me the big flag to put on the side. Okay. I realize now I hung it correctly or got it hung correctly. I'll be fixing that. Okay. But I just need you to know it's, I hung it because I said it had to give something, a little bit of life to it. But <laughs> looking at it now, there's a lot of things that we're going. I'm going to come back late fall, late spring, and cut the windows out and put the windows back here on the side of the road so you can actually see traffic going down the road here. I'm working upstairs, not bringing back the brothel, but I'm gonna bring back all the spaces. <laughs> and so there's a lot of progress, but I do like to thank you for your time. Brought back a little history to you. Some of you got to relive some of the days you remember real good. Some days you're like, oh, okay. But at the same time, yes. Yes. <laughs> really? Hey, but uh, thank you. Yes, great. Can you, uh, people might ask about the little murals that are in the old spaces down the side. The murals are the, is it class of 89? 87, 89, I think it's 89. Yes, they one of them is they're all the artists. I've contacted all the people to see if they want them. As of right now, the people that painted them the, do not want them. I will save them for them to have them. And I've asked all of them, I've asked, found them because I know most of them they walk in and say, Do you want your painting? No. You want your but that's they painted that years ago just to block up the side, give us a, a good view. Uh, I cannot, I can't even sandblast it to get the paint off because I'll tear out the mortar joints. You know, if they'd left it alone, uh oh, okay. picture's yeah. gone. If they'd left that side alone, it looked like this other side. I'm not even there. It's all right, Miss Sheila. Oh, I'll get you back. <laughs> and what's unique about the other side where the grass is, is that when they built the Ramsey store, they cut holes in the bricks or slice the piece. <laughs> they slice, you see the, the black right here. They they put it there so they can slide the uh, flashing in and then put the black mandy on it to keep it from leaking because they attached their building to this building because it was in the easement, you know, attached to this building. Now it's not attached to Smithies. There was a walkway, but most people remember the cell phone books. The half booth at, up, uh, up there on the other side, in between Smithies and the dime store. Uh, but if you have any pictures, or you know anybody that has any pictures, like I said, 
Pat, Sheila, Mr. Morris, we want to get it together so we can put it someplace local so people can remember it. And if you think it's, oh, I've got this. If you think it's, oh, it's nothing. No, it can be submitted to somebody. Like I said, all these pictures today have walked in here in the last two years. I have a few more and I just didn't make it. But there's, they walk in and I, I use them and I talk about them. I have them up on the screen every now and then when somebody's walking in. What are you doing? I said, I'm just playing my pictures, trying to organize. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm not a rich person here. I am talking about the prosperous. Um, what businesses were around here? We were the big capital in the world. Okay. Wall Street Journal came in. Yeah. The gentleman came in from uh, Wall Street Journal and distinguished that this is the bean capital of the world. And after the beans left, and I don't know how. Why did he? Don't know. I don't know that. I'm not that historian. And then yeah. the tobacco farmers came in. And that'll be another lecture for them to do. What happened? What happened? Why did we go through? And then we became in the 70s, 80s industries. Yes, Ms. Lewis. I Change went to the tobacco community and they sold off the tobacco logs. I don't know, I don't know all that. I, like I said, I just in two years, I went from knowing not that much about the history of Mount City other than the stores I ran around with and all the people I saw to having all these pictures and everybody telling me stories every day. So tobacco's been around for a long time. I just put all the change. <laughs> For the long, for a long. in greater quantities in other parts of the country, pairing them with uh, automation. Automation, and that just puts the bean out, out. out of the out. We still have some so well, do they? So you're better on that. This so bean bean. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's just live right, live right the street of uh, the house on the other side of the high school, old high school. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I've heard that story before. I've heard that he, he would play pinball and bracket up all the games and then let the kid play it. Yeah, I've heard that story many times before. Oh, they got it done. But I've ran over my lot, but I got one more up here. I've run over my lot at the time. Sorry. Yes, this will be available. Uh, she will put it on the historical website. They can look at the slides because I don't care. I mean, I, people walked in and gave me. I will come out and figure out who gave me credit for the photos who walked in here and handed me the photos. I don't mind giving them credit. I did not create these. I did not think. 
but I like it that they could. Yes, yes sir. One last question. The being the over is this, this might not be the longest in the county, but is it not the tallest kind of being in any structure? I believe we're the, I think we are. We're the tallest building. I think we're the tallest building in the county. I think this is not the tallest building in the county. It's a, hey, I'll tell you something, there's a lot of history in here. This one right here, I mean, just to bring it back, just to let people relive what they've seen or what it used to be. Somebody said, oh, you just said, oh, it was not bad, it's fun. You know, to bring it back and hear stories, might work one day and then 20 people compliment me on taking the stuff that'll walk the chimneys over here because I found the chimney. So, you know, it took me half a day, but I got it off. But everybody's like, oh, there's a chimney. There's actually six. <laughs> one, there's one under steps, two, three, number four back here on the back wall, number five is back in here, and number six. Weirdly, it's only on the second floor up. Yes, I just found it the other day when I tore down another wall. We used to have a little small restaurant, I guess you call it together. And that, speaking of the smoke shop, upstairs, there's a bathroom. Right, but upstairs, in the bathroom, it says, ladies, wash your hands before you go back to the smoke shop. On the wall, it's written. And I have a galvanized shower up there and an old-timey commode. But it says, but it was, you came through that door over there, and it was on that second where they divided it off. Yes, they told the stories on them. Who all used to hang out over there? I heard that. All uh, right, I have run over my allotment, young lady. I apologize. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Well, well. If I tell it like I told it before, then somebody else does it. When I first got it, I opened my mouth. And then when it shows up, it's like somebody asked me about the gazebo the other day. One no, it's new. So I need to know. I need to know. I said, listen, I bought it cheap. I got some little boys to haul it. They ran out of gas. I said, just put it right there. <laughs> if you keep asking about it, they'll, they'll, they'll find some gas money and they'll haul it on someplace else. So, no, just give me time. I got a 60 month plan, I'm a month uh, 23 or 60 month plan of this building. And then I have the lot plan for what I want to be the uh, lot of next door. Yes, so, thank you all for coming out. Have a good day. Yes, sir. No, I'm good. I'm going to cover it. I'll cover it when y'all leave. I get it. I know how on my head. I appreciate it, though. Y'all good. Just socialize, look around. There's stuff on the artifacts on the wall. So, have a good evening. Thank you, though. Appreciate it for all. Things.